Administrator of Manipur University, Jarnil Singh, kicks off 60 Manipur University Festival organized by Manipur University Students' Union. And Widows and Orphan Resort Development Trust observes its first Widows' Day. Manipur University's former VC, Professor Hizam Tombi, urges all to uplift widows. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Afternoon News. I'm Laitama Monica with the latest news updates. Administrator of Manipur University, Journal Singh, kicked off six-day Manipur University Festival organized by Manipur University Students' Union, Musu. Students of the university fetched a sacred fire from the Kangla Fort to lit up the festival torch at the university's hockey ground to mark the opening of the festival. Various contingents of 19 departments of Manipur University carried out a mass past on the occasion. Speaking at the event, Journal Singh asserted that the festival will help in developing personality of the university students. He said, sports and culture are inseparable and all-out efforts should be made to promote the same. You know, the culture and sports, they help body and brain. It's good for us and it's good for the personality development. During the next seven days, you will enjoy, you will play with your colleagues, you will be able to recreate cultural activities in the university and compete. I wish all of you a wonderful week. Former Vice Chancellor of Manipur University, Professor Hizam Tombi, has highlighted the plights facing widows in the state. Speaking at the first Widows' Day observance organized by Widows and Orphan Resource Development Trust on its fourth Foundation Day at Imphal's GM Hall today, Professor Hizam Tombi said people in the state seem to be pulling down the widows instead of uplifting them. He said widows remain deprived of various schemes provided by the government as they are unaware of proper ways to approach for them. Professor Tombi urged the government to raise awareness about the same to ensure them with various welfare benefits. The trust presented gifts to attending widows on the occasion. The social welfare department, the government labor department, the scheme is not properly approached to home country. Even the people who are living in a car rally took off today carrying the message of safe Thabal Chomba festival celebration during the five-day Aosang festival which begins on November 9, uh, sorry, March 9. Around 20 organizations including Women Against Crime, Widow, Nimpal, Salai Taredki Apun Banupi Lop, Universal Mother Organization, Chitwa, Nambol Apunba Nupi Lop organized a rally. Manpek convener Yumnamcha Dilip Kumar, Amoko advisor PH Devan, and Kokomi leader Jitendra Ningomba flag off the car rally jointly from the western gate of the Kangla Fort. Speaking on the sidelines, Yumnamcha Dilip Kumar stressed on the need to curb the rising crimes against women and children. He said the rally aimed to spread awareness against misconduct towards women during the upcoming Yaoksang Thabal Chomba celebrations. Manipur Kuna Sigi, Soxa Laiba, Nupi or Bisingi, Aduga Nupi Maza Singi, Maru in a Yoksangi Matamda, Toning the Tokdok as you talked on the Buddha Makta, Dugumba, Yamna Maru, Eva Pogjel, Puba, Dumba, Kareli, Asi, Hosipang Tulibani, Adamasi, Koya Kuina, Wakaltana, Amasungi Salisi, or Bisingina, Wakaltara, and the Tokum Tokta Wakaya, Pogjan, the Piri Bakaya, Singang, the Sapiba, Masumama, Mapa, or Bisinga, Mazama Susing, which section Binanabuki, the Makta, Sigma, Pogjela, Pai Ram the Masigi, Sanura Singi, Mansilla Iba, Dugumba Lamza. 
now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Naharo Lysemba Club's anti-drugs rally held in Tamiban Sinam Likai last night. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Afternoon News. Naharo Lysemba Club NLC Tamiban Sinam Likai carried out anti-drugs torch rally, Say No to Drugs, Yes to Life, last night to mark its ninth annual observation day against drugs. Many people, along with the club volunteers, took part in the rally carried out in Thangwe Bansinam Likai area. Speaking to media, President of Naharul Laisemba Club, Pratap Laisangthem, said that the club has been holding the rally every March 1st to spread awareness on the negative impact of drug abuse and to curb the same. <laughs> Manghan giba adu gan nisayun bale handa budi. Adu haju ziti ekoi jad nisayun budi ekoi gile kai jad laytre na lowre lowu yare. Amo bo yun bale itre adu ga haju sab sing jo ekoi tamna tamna masi ekoi khanda ba ekoi panda mama thamjari. Adu na nisha nisha saara kanda hanzala kanda imung manung da adu ga masa masuda society da mangda re ise imung amma mangda budi society ma mangda rakhu se masi kanna bagi na magda NLC na ekoi gile kai jad apabo society ma oina bagi na mag ekoi contribution laybak si da ekoi pin na bagi na ekoi gile kai jad apabo ma International model and social activist Mayang Lambam Daina from Manipur took part in the power walk organized by National Commission for Women last night. The walk started from India Gate at 7 p.m. and concluded at Janpat in New Delhi. Many female students of North State studying in Delhi also took part in the event. Attendees held various play cards condemning exploitation of women's rights. Now the sports news. Bangalore FC defeated ATK FC 1-0 in the first semi-final match of the ongoing Indian Super League ISL 2019-20 at Bangalore Sri Kanti Vrava Stadium yesterday. The Stone Brown scored the lone winning goal at 31st minute of the match. Vaneshwar yesterday night with an impressive note by celebrating the athletes and their triumphant universities. In the closing ceremony, Punjab University Chandigarh took home the Champions Trophy, while Savitri Bai Hule University, uh, Pune University claimed the second position. Punjab University Patiala declared as the second runners-up, and a total of 113 universities won medals at the Games. Punjab University won a total of 46 medals, including 17 gold, 19 silver, and 10 bronze medals. While Savitribai Phule Pune University won 37 medals, including 17 gold, 11 silver, and 9 bronze medals. Likewise, Punjabi University Patalia won 33 medals, including 13 gold, 6 silver, and 14 bronze medals. Speaking on the occasion, Union Minister Kiran Rijiju said the first edition of the Kelo India University Games has been truly successful. He said all the participants have given their best and many of them have shown great potential. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. Administrator of Manipur University, Journal Singh, kicks off 60 Manipur University Festival organized by Manipur University Students' Union. And Widows and Orphan Resource Development Trust observes its first Widows' Day. Manipur University's former VC, Professor Hizam Tongi, urges all to uplift widows.